If you want to password protect your database so nobody else has access to it unless they have the password, you can't just come up here and click on the File tab, go to Info, which is selected by default, and then just come down here and say OK Encrypt because it says you must have the database open for exclusive use to set or remove the database password. So what I did is I opened up the database but not exclusively. When it's exclusively, it means only I can be in here to change the locks or to set the password. Because if I didn't open it up exclusively and there's other people working in it at the same time and we all decide to go ahead and set the password, well, what a mess. Only one person can change the locks, only one person can set the password, so it says only one of you is able to set it, so you have to open it up exclusively and boot everybody else out. So to do that, and so it's just you in there changing the locks, not everybody else at the same time, and then we got to close out of the database, and there's my database right there. And you don't want to just double click on it. What you have to do is you have to open up access. So there's access, double click to open it up. And then you got to open up other files because you just, well, it's right there, the most recent one, right? But that's not how you open it up exclusively. So you can go in the house by yourself with nobody else in there and change the locks and not have anybody else in there at the same time. You have to go to open up other files and then you got to click browse because when you find the file, which is, well, right here on the desktop, select it, don't double click on it, and then come down here and click on the open drop down arrow. Ah. There you go. Open exclusive. Because you don't get that option when you double click on it, right? So you have to do it this way. When you select that, now it's just me. Exclusively me. Nobody else can open up this database while I'm in there changing the locks or setting the password. Now to set the password. Come up here, click on the file tab. Info selected by default. Then come down here and click on encrypt with password. And hey, there we go. P-A-S-S. -S. I know, my password's easily decoded and then hit the tab key PASS, type the same password to verify to make sure that you know you know what you're typing in so it wants to confirm it. Then hit the enter key on the keyboard and it says encrypting with the block cipher is incompatible with row level locking. Row level locking will be ignored. Now because Access 2016 is using what appears to be a newer encryption it's not allowing for row level locking. It'll be ignored. In other words, it doesn't lock the row preventing somebody else in a record from editing the same row or record at the same time. So, well, that's okay since there's no way to go about changing that as of yet. Let's go ahead and click okie dokie. And then that's it. Let's go ahead and just close out of here and double click to open it up. Ooh, nice. Pass. Hit enter and we're in. Great. Now let's go ahead and decrypt it. Remove the password. File. Info selected by default. Come down here to decrypt and why can I not do that? Because you must have the database open for exclusive use to set or remove the database password. So set or remove. So we got to shoot everybody out of the house, open it up exclusively to be able to go ahead and remove the locks. So let's go ahead and click okie dokie. And you know what? We can just leave it open right here and just come up here and click on file. Go down to open and then browse. There it is on the desktop. So we don't double click, we come down here and we say open exclusive. Now it wants the password, PASS, hit enter. Now we can go ahead and come backstage to file info to decrypt. And type in pass, hit enter, we're good. So it's gone, close out, double click to open it back up, no password. Oh that's scary, anybody can open it now. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.